uh, and that they would be reviewing uh, past cases. Mm -hmm. But keep in mind, this is a country where those that commit crimes generally never get held to account, so there's a lot to review. Okay, now this, um, the, the bribe was paid in what year? To the best of my knowledge, the case against Zlochevsky, the former minister, was shut down December of 2014. Okay. And right around that time, Burisma starts uh, adding uh, officials to its board. Is that correct? Understanding is yes, that uh, Zlochevsky invited uh, a series of new individuals to join the board in 2014. And do you know what his strategy was in adding officials to his board? I have never met Mr. Zlochevsky. Okay. And who are some of the folks he added to the board? Uh, the most prominent person he added to the board was the former president of Poland, Alexander Kwasniewski. And anyone else? There were a number of others, including some Americans, and uh, the most prominent one in this context is Hunter Biden. Okay, so Hunter Biden's added to the board of Burisma. Now, do you think that creates a, a, a problem that Burisma may be adding people to its board for protection purposes? Uh, sir, I work for the government. I don't work in the corporate sector, and so I believe that companies build their boards uh, with a variety of reasons, mm -hmm. uh, not only to promote their business plans. Yeah. Was, was Hunter Biden a, a corporate governance expert? I have no idea what Hunter Biden studied at university or what his CV says. Like, is he the, the Jeffrey Sonnenfeld of, of the Ukraine? Uh, I have no uh, awareness or knowledge of what his background was and what he may have done on the board of Okay, Burisma. so you don't know whether he has any um, business experience in Ukraine prior to joining Burisma's board? I, I've heard nothing about prior experience. Okay, no. do you know if he speaks Ukrainian? I do not. Do you know if he um, possesses any other element other than the fact that he is the son of, at the time, the sitting vice president? I do not. Okay. Ambassador Taylor, do you know whether Hunter Biden offers anything other than the fact that his dad's the former vice president? I, I don't. Or at the time was the vice president? I have no knowledge of uh, Hunter Biden. But you would agree it raises questions, right? He was getting paid, I think, $50,000 a month to, uh, I, to sit on the board. Did you know if he relocated to Ukraine? I'm sorry, Mr. Kester, say again? Do you know if Hunter Biden relocated to Ukraine? No knowledge. Do you know, Mr. Kent? Again, no knowledge. Okay. So he's getting paid $50,000 a month, but we don't know whether he had any experience, he had any, um, he spoke the language, or whether he moved to Ukraine, correct? Correct. Now, at this time, Vice President Biden was taking a specific interest in Ukraine, wasn't he? He was. And could you tell us about that? I believe uh, while he was Vice President, he made a total of six visits to Ukraine. One may have been during the old regime, mm -hmm. Yanukovych, and that would make five visits after the Revolution of Dignity, which started February of 2014. Okay. And you were the, the DCM, the Deputy Chief of Mission at, this time, at the time, correct? Uh, starting in 2015, yes. Okay. And did Vice President Biden come when you were, when you were at post? He did not. I came back for Ukrainian language training, and so I missed several uh, okay. visits. Now, you've seen Vice President Biden's, um, his, he's sort of given a, um, a, a speech, and he's, uh, you know, a little folksy about how he went into Ukraine and he told uh, the Ukrainians that if they don't fire the prosecutor, they're going to lose their $1 billion in loan guarantees. You've seen that, correct? I have. I think it was a speech at the Council of Foreign Relations in January 2018. Right. And he also said that he's been there, you know, to Ukraine 13 times. Do you know if that's accurate? To the best of my knowledge, when he was vice president, he made six visits. And did uh, the State Department ever express any concerns to the vice president's office that the vice president's role at the time in, in engaging on Ukraine presented any issues? No, the vice president's role was critically important. It was top cover to help us pursue our policy agenda. Okay, but given Hunter Biden's role in Burisma's board of directors, at some point you testified in your deposition that you expressed some concern to the vice president's office. Is that correct? That is correct. And what did they do about that concern that you expressed? Uh, I have no idea. I reported my concern to the office of the vice president. Okay, and that was the end of it, and that nobody... I, sir, I, you would have to ask the people who worked in the office of the vice president okay. uh, during 2015. But after you expressed the concern of a, a perceived conflict of interest at the least, um, the vice president's engagement in Ukraine didn't decrease, did it? Correct, because the vice president was promoting U.S. policy.